This is the easiest way to look for critical Microsoft vulnerabilities that are remotely exploitable. I'm using a free tool that allows you to run powerful queries to look for vulnerabilities. In this video, I will show you a quick way to hunt and locate vulnerabilities accurately. The tool we will explore today is called Volnex. This is formerly called CVE Map and is created by Project Discovery. This is the same organization who created the Nuclei Vulnerability Scanner. Volnex is a modern CLI tool for exploring vulnerability data using powerful searches. It is written in Golang, so we can just install it using the following command. There are a lot of features here, so let's start to play around. If we run it without any parameter, it will show us a nice graph about the state of vulnerability landscape. We see here the severity distribution by criticality, the top affected vendors, which is showing us that Microsoft is leading the list. We also see here the top vulnerability types. Broken access control is still the leader. We can guess that majority of these are coming from websites since they are public facing and always been a high value target for attackers. Next on the list are buffer overflow vulnerabilities. This means that even though there are already a lot of stack and memory mitigations being deployed, low-level exploitation is still common. I like the way Volnex shows the graph because as a security researcher, this will give you an idea on what areas to focus at. Aside from those graphs, we can use the Analyze subcommand to look for useful data. For example, we can get a count of vulnerabilities by severity. We can also get the per vendor count or maybe we can see how many are exploitable remotely. While those data are interesting, the main feature of Volnex are the powerful search filters. Let's try a basic search that will look for anything related to Apache. We have several results here, but by default, it will only display the first 10 entries. We see here different Apache-related softwares like Nifey and Log4j. Let's take a look at the first entry. The result will show you whether the vulnerability is already patched. This result says there is still no patch available, so this can be a motivation for attackers to perform exploitation. There is also no available proof of concepts yet, meaning this vulnerability is very recent. It looks like this is a low severity vulnerability, so let's look for something else. We have here another one, which is a remote code execution for Apache Commons text. Based from quick Google search, that is a library that provides algorithm and handling text data. The priority is high and the CVSS score is 9.8. Typically, we only get notified by critical vulnerabilities like this from social media. But if you are a security researcher or exploit developer, you may need to run tools like this in order to get the information faster. The vulnerability is also recent. It looks like by default, it is sorting it by age. We see here the vendor and product name that is affected. Probably this is the first place where the vulnerability was found because I assume since that is a library, more products will be affected. There is also no patch available yet, but there is one proof of concept. To get more information about the vulnerability, we will use the ID subcommand and pass the CVE number. We get the same information a while ago, but with added details at the bottom. This shows what the vulnerability is all about by giving more details, such as the affected version. Then we will see here the risk, which is high, since this can be exploited remotely. A while ago, we see that there is no patch for this, but the remediation is telling us to upgrade to a higher version. So I'm not sure why the information doesn't seem to line up with each other. The interesting part here is the proof of concept. This is something I look into first since it gives me the technical details about the vulnerability. And at the bottom, we see a few more information. Since this vulnerability is relatively new, we expect to see less information. Like for example, there is only one POC as the time of this video recording. If we look at an old critical vulnerability like Eternal Blue, we will see more results. This is an SMB vulnerability in Microsoft that allows unauthenticated remote code execution. There are a lot of proof of concepts here, but it only displays some of the entries. Those hidden entries can be displayed when we convert the output to JSON. If we want to do more advanced lookup, we can use the search subcommand. Here we are searching for any vulnerabilities for Microsoft products. They must be discovered this year. The vulnerability must be exploitable remotely, and there must be a proof of concept available. We also want to display the most critical first, so we will sort it by CVSS score. This will show us different Microsoft product like Azure, Visual Studio, and Windows Server. There are a lot more powerful searches you can do with this tool, and you can do it for free. Most online search platforms need a subscription in order to unlock the full result. VolnX is really a powerful vulnerability search tool. The only downside is that, as a free user, your request will be throttled. If you know similar tools like this, feel free to share in the comments below. I hope you learned something today. If you find my content valuable, please support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you on the next one.